All right, so I just got to this job about 20 minutes ago. It's a, a two-story building in Cedarhurst. And the call Friday afternoon was, this apartment is leaking to the retail store down below. I got here and found that this valve was almost closed. I found all these towels and this bucket underneath the very valve. Now, that one wasn't in place, but this one was. Pull it out of the box right now. The straight one was in place. Had a little street fitting in there, and that went there. And this was spitting out water. So at first thought, since it was coming out with pressure, I was thinking, ah, got to be a clogged wet return, but no other radiator in this building is exhibiting that same problem. So I realized that the valve wasn't fully closed, water was being trapped in there, steam is pushing the water out of the way and through the old very valve. That is my 85% educated opinion on this one. Is it possible the wet return is still clogged? Yes. Is it possible that maybe this radiator is not that level anymore? Mm, no, it's slightly pitched. I can get the level out and put it on top of there to make sure, but with the steam radiator, you wanna make sure that you have slight pitch towards that corner right there, towards that valve. Because if you're level, water will trap in there. And if you're back pitched, water will definitely sit on that corner. Now, a lot of times if the wet return is clogged, let's say this was a, a much easier location. Let's say it's a single story house, boilers in the basement on the opposite side of the building of the house. And this one's on the opposite side of the boiler of the house. Um, if the wet return is clogged, water is steam, you know, is making its way through the system, but as it cools, you know, it can't make its way back to the boiler. So you're gonna have a tremendous amount of banging. You're gonna have water spitting out of that air valve, right, that corner uh, silver little piece right there. And most plumbers will come, they'll change the valve and have a nice day, give them a bill, but that really is not gonna solve the problem if it's a clogged wet return because it's gonna come, it's gonna come right back. <laughs> and the only way to solve that wet return uh, clogged issue is to try to flush it out you know, may have to cut in some valves and use some water pressure or air pressure to try to push that clog through. I like to take water from the bottom of the water heater with a garden hose, hooking that up that way, making sure you don't cross contaminate the water, of course, but uh, using water pressure to, to flush it out. And if that doesn't work, you're gonna have to replace the wet return piping. But in this case, the valve being partially closed, I'm almost positive, 85% that this new very valve is going to solve the problem. If you got a steam boiler or steam system and you're tired of these other plumbers giving you the runaround, call us. Don't pay twice, pay once. I like that motto. Pay once, don't pay twice. If Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate it if you can subscribe. My goal is a thousand subscribers within the next couple months.